Welcome. In this short video, I will provide a functional analysis of two of the sentences whose formal analysis I already presented in two separate videos. Again, I will apply the principles of the comprehensive grammar of the English language written by Sir Randolph Quirk, Sidney Greenbaum, Jan Swartwick and Geoffrey Leach. Well, and here are the sentences I'm going to analyze. I will perform a functional analysis of perhaps you will never find a job as a linguist, but you should at least try. And the boss thoroughly questioned the senior accountant about last month's losses. And of course, I will provide reasons for my analysis. I will provide you with arguments for why something is a subject, an object, and so on and so forth. So let us start with the first sentence. And as usual here, first of all, we have the categorical analysis, the syntactic categories or word classes, and the phrasal categories that are involved in this sentence. If you're not familiar with this, look at the videos where I present the formal analysis of these sentences. So, in this case, we have a declarative sentence which consists of two main clauses. Thus, we can define the whole sentence as a compound declarative sentence. In both cases, we have the subject, so in both clauses, we have the subject you. In the first clause, it must be the subject because it surfaces as the biphrase if we passivize that clause. A job as a linguist will never be found by you. By you indicates that you must be the subject of the corresponding active sentence. Well, in, in the second sentence, you must be the subject because it's the only formal category that can occur as a subject. It's the only noun phrase in that clause. So, you must be the subject here too. Next, let's look at the verb. Now, in both clauses, we have a verb consisting of an auxiliary verb plus a main verb with an adverb in between. Thus, the two parts of the verb constitute a so-called verbal bracket or brace. In the first clause, we also have an object, a job as a linguist. The question arises here whether the noun phrase a job and the prepositional phrase as a linguist constitute one unit or whether we should analyze this as a combination of an object plus an adverbial. It depends on how you understand the sentence. Does as a linguist describe the action of finding, that is, you find a job as or even because you're a linguist, or does it modify job? That is, do you find a job of the type linguist? Well, it depends. But I chose the second option, and the test is simple. The whole phrase can become the subject of a corresponding passive sentence. A job as a linguist, one unit, will never be found by you. So this is a suitable test for the fact that a job as a linguist can occur as an object of this sentence. Finally, we have three adverbials in our sentence. Two of them inside the verb and one sentence initially. And they're all adverbs. They're all simple adverbs. And unlike subjects, verbs and objects, all these adverbials are optional. We can drop them and can have the sentence without the adverbial. So the sentence would then be, you will find a job as a linguist, but you should try. Well, the meaning is a little bit strange, but it works. So that's the analysis of the first sentence. Here is our second sentence. And again, here are the syntactic categories, the simple categories, determinant noun, adverb, and so on, and the phrasal categories that we need to justify the functional analysis. In the case of the prepositional phrase, I did not mark the internal noun phrases. They do not play a role in the hierarchy of the functional analysis. Since we have a simple declarative sentence here, we only have one subject. The subject is the boss. A suitable test 
is the substitution test where we can replace the boss by a pronoun, he. Now what does he tell us? Well, he is case marked. It occurs in the nominative case, the case reserved for subjects. Another test that works here is the passivization test, where the boss can become the biphrase in the corresponding passive. Here it is. The senior accountant was questioned by the boss. So we have two very good reasons to believe that the boss is the subject of this sentence. The verb is simple. It's just a lexical verb, questioned. Well, and the sentence has one object. The noun phrase, the senior accountant. Well, and again, we can apply tests. One test is again the passivization test. Now the object can become the subject of a corresponding passive sentence. The senior accountant was questioned by the boss. And this is a wonderful test for objects. Another test which works in our case is the substitution test where we can replace the senior accountant by him, which is of course a pronoun in the object case. And this shows quite clearly that the senior accountant must be an object of this clause. Finally, we have two adverbials. A simple adverb thoroughly and a prepositional phrase. Both adverbials are optional. So we could have a sentence without them. The boss questioned the senior accountant. And also the adverbials are mobile. So a suitable sentence which shows the mobility of these adverbials could be about last month's losses, the boss questioned the senior accountant thoroughly. Slight meaning change though, but it works. So that's it. Here are the solutions where I marked the syntactic functions in their standard colors on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, subject in blue, verb in red, object in green, and so on and so forth. All clauses clearly have a subject-verb-object structure, which is typical for present-day English declarative sentences or clauses. They also contain some adverbials, which are all mobile and can be dropped in these particular cases. So, that's it. If you want to download this board content over here that I've just developed, well, as usual, create your free VLC account on 3wslinguistics-online.com, the Virtual Linguistics Campus. Log into the VLC, visit the e-lecture library, where you have access to all videos and their board content in a freely accessible PDF format. Thanks for listening and see you again.